Happy News Day. Still July 6th. It's uh, 2 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, so we still have nearly a couple of hours left in trading uh, today. Uh, but I thought I'd record this a little early because I think uh, kind of what's going to happen has already revealed itself. So let me take you through it. So yesterday, um, API news came out uh, after North American closed at 4.30 and it suggested that we were going to see a big inventory draw. EAI news confirmed that draw today at 11 a.m. Eastern. And although we dropped a little bit when the news came out, which is normal, kind of just a lot of fluctuation, we ultimately spiked up to, I want to say, I say spike, but I mean, we went up to 46 50, which is really only 50 cents higher than we were before the news came out um, or the 50 cents higher than the high before the news week uh, came out but we almost immediately started drifting down lower and lower and lower until finally at about two o'clock we just tanked um, so we dropped as low as 45 20 ish um, we're, we're climbing back up but this really looks like we're going lower um, you may recall I thought we were going to go lower yesterday, um, you know, not accounting for the API news that I forgot was going to come out in the uh, uh, post market. But um, I expected us to go to at least 4470 before we would have any sort of pullback upwards. So I was holding out with the sale of my short until we hit that um, price or lower. Um, we never did. We only really touched 44.90 and then popped back to 45. So I, I held on to that short. Uh, consequently, we didn't, because I was still holding that short, I didn't play another short position when we rallied back up because it was just not enough of a difference from the existing short. And similarly, because we didn't go high enough, I didn't get into a short, um, a new short in order to take advantage of this drop that we saw today. Um, I was planning on basically entering another short position if we were to be, if we were to kind of see early afternoon anywhere above 46 and a half, preferably 47. That's, I thought that's where we we're going to push, push to. Um, but like I said, we only touched 46 and a half and then really just drifted, drifted and then tanked. Um, this, pu this push upward right now, I think is just temporary. Ultimately, we're going to go down. If not today before close, then tomorrow. Um, it doesn't really make sense for me to add a short here because I literally have a short here. My, my short is at 45.30, so I'm not going to double down on this. I'm just going to wait until it pays off and then cash out. Um, and I would be planning on going long somewhere close to 44. Um, so that might be a little bit ambitious to. Uh, to get there by tomorrow, but you never know. Um, you know, yet had we not had this big um, climb up um, following API and then um, just before EIA, I would have said 44 was really um, looking good uh, before the weekend. Now, I'm not so sure. Um, it might be a slow death or a slow climb back up to 48. Um, either way, I'm just gonna wait. So no action for me today. Um, it's really just patience, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes patience really does reward you. So I'd be, I'd love to know what you guys did. If uh, any money, anybody managed to make some money on uh, what we got as a result of all this news kerfuffle that really resulted in practically nothing. Um, you know, I will say that the news was. You know, substantially positive, and the fact that we weren't able to push above 46 and a half really does say that, you know, 47 could be our interim top to the range. Um, I'm seeing 45 as potentially the middle of our range, so suggesting maybe 42 is the bottom. I don't know yet, but we'll see. That's kind of my working theory. Um, but in any case, uh, shoot me up on the comments down below on YouTube. Love to hear what you guys did. Um, or check out uh, tradingjournal.ca for my portfolio and details on my trades and trading charts. Um, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and I'll check back with you guys uh, tomorrow before trading starts. Cheers.